Uh, my name is Tal Waman. I'm from Riva, South Dakota, and I am a uh, Fulbright researcher. I'm studying hypersonic uh, aerodynamics at the von Karman Institute for Fluid Dynamics. It's uh, located in Chaudes saint uh, south of Brussels. And the primary inspiration for Fulbright was um, I always wanted to do some sort of international research project, so it was always intriguing to do um, research at the international level. So um, at the time I approached my um, global studies department at my university and learned a little bit more about the Fulbright program and, and realized that the flexibility that the program offered was um, right up my alley and, and I was able to develop a, a proposal and it worked out. I wouldn't say it was there were too many big difficulties other than starting early. So um, I think my proposal took me roughly a year to develop. Um, there was a lot of communication between my host institution and myself um, over the course of six or eight months. So I think that it's very important to reach out very early. Um, in fact, I wanted to apply for the 2016-2017 program, but when I realized the amount of work that you have to put into the application, it was um, it was beneficial to just wait and, and apply for the next year's program. So, like I said, I think um, applying early is very important. So Belgium, um, as a decision, was kind of twofold. So I, I really wanted to study in Europe, um, and so Belgium is the capital of Europe. So that's that was one plus. Um, in addition, the specific research that I wanted to do, uh, the institute that I chose is, um, it's very small, but it's very well known in the aerospace industry. So um, it was beneficial for me to apply to study there. So the facilities that they have are very world class. Um, there are not like, there are not facilities like that anywhere else in the world. So it was pretty easy to um, justify Belgium in my application. Yeah, the most memorable moment so far is definitely the multicultural aspect of, of Belgium and Brussels in particular. Um, I work in a very small uh, research team. Uh, my office has, I guess there's five of us in my office and all five of us are from five different countries. We speak five different languages. Um, so that's really, really cool. Um, I like to learn about other countries and other um, yeah, people's cultures and, and what they do, and it's all very new to me. So I grew up in a very, very small rural part of the U.S., so uh, moving to Europe was a, was a big transition, and I've learned a lot being in Brussels. So uh, academically, I've certainly uh, increased my um, problem-solving skills and engineering abilities at the institute that I've chosen. Um, from a professional standpoint, I believe I've, I've certainly um, built my team work abilities. Um, working in an international environment has certainly given me new uh, insights on how to work with people. We might have different backgrounds, we might have different views, but it's um, certainly built my skills in that area. Um, culturally as well, um, like the work and the culture aspect of it go hand in hand. So um, it's definitely changed my life learning about um, how other people from other countries interact with each other and the, the types of social norms that they, that they have and, and, and I guess the way they interact with each other is just such a cool thing.